need to base everything that we decide on on facts. What I did is the correct thing. Every new university in Uganda finds themselves in exactly the same position. You start with a task force and then you get the university uh, approved by parliament, then it is gazetted, and then the Minister of Education appoints the University Council. And the University Council is the one which now starts through its appointments board to recruit staff and so on. There is no Senate. There are no staff to create the so-called such committee. So what has been happening is that the University Council appoints the first Vice-Chancellor and Deputy Vice-Chancellor. And those are legal appointments. And then, when their term expires, their first term expires, they are eligible, according to the Act, for reappointment for one more term. And Kambogo University didn't do that. And someone took them to court. The court ruled in favor of the vice chancellor who did not get an offer. They were charged 300 million shillings. And there is now a document from the Attorney General, which is very clear about this, based on that judgment, that the first vice chancellor is always given the option at the end of his first term. If there are reasons not to reappoint, then you don't reappoint. So in this case, I asked the council to evaluate the performance of the vice chancellor and the deputy vice chancellor. And they wrote to me to say that their performance qualifies them for reappointment. And then I appointed them. It is true some mistakes were made. For example, advertising their jobs. That was a mistake made, I think, by the University Council because of just lack of information. By that time, I was not in the picture. I came in after I was installed, and then I heard all those things. They even wrote to me, recommending me to appoint acting people. I said, ah, <laughs> what is this? This doesn't work. But what we have done here is what happens in all the other public universities. I hope that should not dent my reputation, but should enhance it because I saved this university from trouble. Because if they had refused to give these people the first option, they would have gone to court and they would be charging the university like happened to Kiambogo University. So it is okay, let them go to court, uh, no problem. Sometimes it gives you an opportunity uh, to, <laughs> uh, to showcase the facts better than if it was just you people reporting. And don't make this a big thing. It's a small thing. It's a small thing. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I would be surprised if anyone, uh, uh, if the court decides uh, uh, in their favor. I think it's just angry people, very angry people. 